So the beauty about weather, it's pretty ubiquitous on mobile. People care about the weather exactly where they're standing right now. So to all intents and purposes, weather is mobile. So as a company, we have about 120 million downloads on, uh, uh, on apps at the moment, and we are pretty much a top five um, media owner across every platform. The problem with mobile is it pretty much is just being developed into a performance mechanism of the, of the banner ads. And that is probably the way that why we're investing in mobile and the creatives we're using on mobile isn't going to be working. So the weather channel, we're taking quite a um, evangel evangelistic or a, uh, or a um, ambassadorial role in driving mobile as a branding medium. So what we've been developing um, is actually putting brands into the weather. So using the whole of the display to put some very beautiful images, displaying um, relevant information, useful information, but in a beautiful image and actually letting brands interact with that um, in the same time is making sure that the messaging is contextual to the actual weather that the person is actually achieving then. So a great example is if you could be standing here in the sunshine in Kensington, I could have a nice, I could have a nice uh, advertisement there with a, with, a, with a sunny day with a PIMS, a glass of PIMS there. If it was raining, I could have, some, I could have something there with a, uh, uh, to do with, with a, a brand that was actually very much associated with rain. Or if it was snowing, I could have a severe weather advertiser. So what we're doing is we're trying to make sure that we're using mobile as a branding mechanism rather than just a performance per click model. I think mobile, it's all going to be out the native ad products. It's going to be very... It's going to be the media owners that actually invest in, in some very cool and some very engaging and some very effective kit are the ones that are actually going to achieve. And yes, yes they are. I think, if, I think if you're creative or you're, if you're anywhere on the agency side, you want an effective medium. You want to use the medium to its full impact rather than using an ad mechanism that pretty much we, what we have on mobile is something that was inherited from web and actually probably isn't that effective on web as a banner ad, and that was actually just, a, just taken from, uh, from press beforehand. No one's really thinking about that personalization of mobile and working out, okay, well, how can we actually put the message as effectively as possible? And it's certainly not putting a banner ad at the top. We're talking to everyone with our ideas, and I think sort of there's many things we can do with, with weather and how weather impacts people's lives, how people plan by the weather. And what we're doing, we're having those conversations. What we're trying to do as a media owner is make sure that we, we, we've got the, the palette that people can actually work with. But, um, you know, I think it's, you know, I think you go to a creative agency, pretty much everyone in that creative agency is gonna have a smartphone, I, you know, 100%. So it's not as if we can't, they don't know the medium. It's just a question of like, why aren't they designing creative ads for the mobile? Why, why, because it's been dominated by the performance and you know we're never going we're never going to see fantastic creative if it's been dominated by performance networks <laughs>